What is up, everyone? It's Drakey572, Return of Chant. Uh, this is the vlog for the NAWCQ. We're about to head over there right now, over to Texas. Head to the airport in a bit. Got my stuff ready. I'm just going to pack one more order before I head out, and we'll see you guys over there. We just landed in Austin, Texas. It's time to go uh, to the convention center to register and get our uh, pricing, our mat, and our little coin. I'm not sure if we're getting packs, but we'll see. Our flight was delayed by like two hours so we're a little bit late but we're here finally let's go get our stuff just finished checking in we got our world championship qualifier sleeves and we got this dope ass play mat as you guys know i'm playing banker still so this is definitely something i i really wanted to have and we got a uh, coin, we're about to see what we get. If we get a gold coin, a silver coin, or a, I think that's it, gold or silver. Let's see. And it looks like we got a silver ancient gear coin. Look at that. I know someone is gonna want this. I found the vendors. Looks like everyone's trying to pick up Dean Smith parts. JK, but found them. There's our hotel. Let's see what floor we get. Finally unloaded my stuff uh, at the hotel. Shout out Imperium Duelist. All this fit in that backpack right here. Right now, we're just gonna uh, settle in a bit. Then we're gonna go walk over to like a CVS or like a Target. And um, yeah, grab some supplies like deodorant, uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, things like that. Uh, just like little, you know, what do you call it? Travel size things just so they can last me until Sunday. Uh, but yeah, then we're gonna go grab some lunch, come back and uh, Resleeve our deck and get ready for tomorrow. Probably do a market watch tonight too because I did have a list I didn't want to talk about too. But yeah, uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. It's finally time to eat, you guys. I decided to go to this place called Cedar Door and we're going to try their. Austin something beer and probably their brisket sandwich. Look at how good that looks. Deck has been re-sleeved and ready to go. Fresh new sleeves. These are the older ones. Uh, so now I won't get sharked for having like a crease on my sleeve and stuff. But I'm playing Vanquish so if you guys didn't already know. Basically the whole point of um, this deck is to go D shifter or retaliating C turbo and try to get some free wins. So we'll see how it goes. So I didn't end up going to the gym. I was a little bit too stuffed still and a little bit too buzzed. So I'm just going to end up uh, drinking one more beer and calling it a night. Uh, I did end up doing a little market watch so I'm uploading that. And uh, I did want to give a shout out to Jay Harris. I just met him down in the lobby at the hotel. Looks like he was staying at the same hotel I was. But if you guys don't follow Jay Harris Games, uh, go follow him right now. He's one of the better sellers on Instagram and also has a TCG player store as well. He gave me a little a legendary duelist pack, so we're going to be opening it up right now, seeing what we pull. Hopefully, we got blessed hands tonight. But yeah, shout out Jay Harris Games for uh, the great conversation, great tips, and uh, mentoring me on, giving me tips on selling and stuff. Uh, so yeah, shout out Jay Harris Games. Go follow him. I'll have his TCG player link down below and Instagram link. And the pools. We pulled a rare, so not too bad. I'm not sure, really sure how to pronounce this. It says Dodo Dodo Warp. Go, 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 glove weird name but yeah shout out jay harris again for uh, the pack and for meeting with me tonight all right let's head over to the event and see how our rounds go i'll keep you guys updated round by round and wish me luck one update I just took an L against Centurion I won the first game I lost the second game and then third game I did go first but unfortunately I didn't know Centurion wasn't affected by it. there can be only one so uh, and I also break I didn't draw a raise in it or a starter so yeah that was it that's round one I'll keep you guys updated but we're starting off with an L today but round two it went a little bit better we didn't get a W but we got a draw I went against Whitewoods this time and we only had two games he won the first game and i won the second game in in time because i had more life points and i was able to burn but yeah uh it's just uh we only got a draw we're still in this though uh two rounds in hopefully the next ones will go a little bit better 
round. So round three, still no dub. I took an L again. Uh, so that makes it my second loss, which means if I lose round four, that's going to be it for me. No chance for me at topping. Uh, but yeah, I went against Tenpai, and I'm kind of mad at myself because my brother plays Tenpai, and I have so much practice with the deck. Although he was using the new stuff, so uh, I was unfamiliar with it, but I should have known, like, you know, the basics and stuff. But yeah, I lost against Tenpai, and now we're going to round four. One more round. Let's see if we can still continue to go on to this. I mean, continue with the event or drop out. <laughs> Round four update, we finally got a W. We went against Mementos, and I was familiar with the deck, but uh, yeah, retaliating CK and Clutch, as soon as they activated the Memento Fusion, uh, retaliating C was live and everything they they uh, had had to go into the graveyard. So yeah, we got a W finally in round four. We still only have one more game loss to, to go, so if I lose one more game, still I'm eliminated, but we're gonna continue going until uh, until we, that happens. Back at the hotel now, so you know what that means. It means I got eliminated. I actually got eliminated round five, but I stuck around for one more round. Round five, I got eliminated by a runic stun. Round six, I went against a snake guy's Fiend Smith player, but he was still getting adjusted to the strategy and learning it, so uh, he kind of messed up his combo. But yeah, round five I got eliminated and then I just decided after round six there was no point in me continuing. So I just dropped and came back to the hotel uh, to kind of freshen up, use the restroom. Now we're just gonna go grab some food. But yeah, not the best performance. I ended up two wins, one tie and three, three uh, what do you call it, three losses. So that's it for today. <laughs> If you guys follow me on my Instagram, you guys know that donuts are one of my favorite comfort foods, especially now since I got eliminated and didn't make it to round two. This is much needed. That's how it looks like. After hitting up that hot dog place and then eating those two donuts, I'm kind of stuffed. So I think I might just call it and I'm also a little bit buzzed. I already drank two beers at the hot dog place and I am still... Uh, gonna enjoy this one right here. So I think I'm gonna just call it a night and just go explore Austin, Texas tomorrow. We'll probably come back and uh, see the finals at the convention center. But I wanted to show you guys right now my deck profile. Even though I went only two wins, one draw and three losses, I still want to show you guys what I was running. Uh, so here it is. So we got three Raisin, three Dr. Mad Love. Those are basically the starters. We have two Heavy Borger. One uh, Caesar Valley is one Pantera and only one Chowlong. Uh, for the cashier package, we have three cashier Fenrir, one Rice Heart. Uh, right here, we have actually three Parallax Seeds, which, which is something I was trying out, but I felt like it didn't really work as well as I thought it was going to work. It worked when it worked, but when I didn't need it, it was just, you know, just in the hand, it was just like a brick if I didn't draw any of these to, like, you know, get started. Uh, but yeah, that's it for that. We have the hand trap right here. The strategy of today was trying to go DD Crow Retaliating C Turbo to try to lock my opponent out from using the graveyard. But when I did draw Retaliating C or DD or um or a Dimension Shifter, I did not draw a starter, and this does not work if I don't draw a starter. So uh, yeah, it did work when it worked, but you know. It's things just happened. I didn't draw a starter in some of the games. Three Ash Blossom, one Ghost Bell Haunted Mansion, one DD Crow. We're running three of the Staker Soul. We're running two Triple Tactics Talent, two Super Poly, two Cosmic Cyclone, one Durandal. I used to run this at three, but now I only run one because sometimes seeing, I mean, running it at three uh, was uh, too clunky. I run one Reinforcement of the Army, one Vanquish Soul Continue, one. Dust Devil, one pressure planet call one pressure planet right cell, one call by the grave, vanquish self, snow devil, one of, and then an infinite imperm. Probably gonna update 
uh, this to like three or two copies but yeah it's gonna need some work but this is basically the concept I had I'll show you guys the extra deck and side deck right now for the extra deck we have three copies of Rock the Vanquisher we have an SP Little Knight we have Nightmare Phoenix we have Starving Venom uh, Fusion Dragon for my Super Poly Target, Mud Dragon another Super Poly Target, Guru another Super Poly Target, then for our rank 7s we have Dark Armed, uh, Armed Dragon of Annihilation, Red Dragon, uh, Red, Red Eyes Flame Metal Dragon, for our rank 4s we have uh, Battle and Boxer Dempsey, we have Giant Hand, this one never came up, I might consider switching this one out, we have Baguska, Baguska actually came up a lot, we have Dugaris, and we have a copy of Typhon Sky Crisis. For the side deck, we have two copies of Nibiru, three Drone Lock Bird, one Ghost Ogre, Kumongas in case we went against like Pearly, Bicel Magnemite, Bicel Drawer Swarm. There can only be one Scale Drain. I should have probably upped this to like three copies, but I uh, only played one. Dimensional Barrier, two evenly matched. And then I also cited. A uh, copy of Ubel, the Loving Defender, although I never uh, went against Ubel, so it didn't come up. But this was my little tech choice to be able to like super poly Ubel's board. But yeah, that's basically the deck. If you guys want to test it out, go ahead. But I might be switching it up, uh, making it a little bit more, con making it a little bit more consistent. It just didn't work out today. But yeah, that's it. Last day here, and I'm gonna be walking around. It's hot as fuck, but let's go do some sightseeing. And our first stop. I'm on my way now to go look at this little troll thing, troll statue thing. Uh, but it's been like 40 minutes that I've been walking. I still have 11 minutes yet. Uh, there's the city over there. And I'm gonna have to walk back. Or I might, I might just see Uber it. It's fucking hot. Much better. So we were able to find a little library that had like a little patio, patio area upstairs. I came to another patio area. I'm just gonna relax for a bit until I go eat. And uh, then we're gonna go to the convention center to watch the finals. back at the convention center i think i'm gonna go go get myself one of those tokens and then we're gonna go watch the semi-finals and finals once we're done with that i got my token card we're just gonna wait for the finals to start and then we're gonna go watch it As you guys saw, Fiend Smith Snake Guy taking the event. I don't think any, anyone is surprised about that. But yeah, we're just gonna call it a night and end the video here. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, also, go follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and X at Return of Chance. I'm sorry about that. I'm at the airport. Just gonna chill here till my flight is gone. But yeah, we'll see you guys next time.